for far too long, we have been made to believe that Africa or people of African descent are substandard. This conference is about to challenge that narrative. This conference is about to put out the right information about our people, about who we are as a people. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. I'm a Ghanaian. Well, you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it. It was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube. Basically, my YouTube channel is to connect Africans and the motherland to Africans in the diaspora. Greetings, family. This is Nana Obukese Ampa, Upper Jahin of the Asebu State, Central Region, Ghana. It's good to be back on my favorite channel, the Echo Simpson YouTube channel. If you've not subscribed yet, please, I will encourage you to do so because this is where you get all the latest information about us. No propaganda, the right stuff that you need to hear. I'm very happy to inform you about our upcoming event, the All African Diaspora Education Summit 2022. This is a collaboration between the Obukasi Foundation, the University of Cape Coast, and the African American Male Education Network and Development. The All African Diaspora Education Summit 2022, that we like to call ADES 2022, is a summit like none other. We are looking to get together to explore the theme, reclaiming African sovereignty through the right education, making excellence as the mantra for everything Africa and African. Brothers and sisters, it will interest you to know that for far too long, we have been made to believe that Africa or people of African descent are substandard. This conference is about to challenge that narrative. This conference is about to put out the right information about our people, about who we are as a people. In 1324 CE, the very richest man on earth who has ever lived on earth, Mansa Musa, the king of Mali, went on a pilgrimage to Mecca. On that pilgrimage, that is where we saw the ascension. That is where we saw the pride of Africa on display from Mali to Mecca, from west to east. Mansa Musa put up a show like none other. It has never happened before. The pomp and pageantry, the gold, uh, the civility, how he carried himself, how his people were dressed, and what have you. This showcase Africa to the world than never. And because of that, Europeans were enticed. They wanted to come see what this country or what this continent was all about. They came in, they tricked us, and this is how we ended. Now, 1324 CE, fast forward 2024, we are about to celebrate the 700 years anniversary of this very epic trip of the pilgrimage to Mecca. We are not going to sit down for others to define this for us. We want to define this ourselves. So coming from a known fact, stand on a known fact, that some seven years ago, we were leading, we were envy, we were the pride of the world. Africa was everything. We want to stand on that, to let the world know that we are coming together as a people and we want to solve our own problems. The All African Diaspora Education Summit, its purpose, its premise on this, that when we are able to come together as a people, we can solve our own problems. That is why we have some very powerful speakers coming through. We have Tony Browder, well-renowned historian and archaeologist. We have Dr. Chike Ekua from Clark Atlanta University. We have Professor Cynthia Hewitt from Mohawk College. We have Dr. Julian Mavo. We have Lasana Hotel, Dr. Gebru. Emmanuel, the president of the African American Male Education Network and Development. We have our chairman for the organizing committee, Dr. Edward Bush, president of Kozim's College, Kozim's River College, Sacramento, California, USA. This wonderful African minds are coming together to push the agenda for African-centered education. 
That's what we need to go to the next level. Now, this is what is happening to us. As a people, we have been victims of slavery and colonialism. How beneficial was this to us? Nothing. So, this group of wonderful minds are getting together to make a case for African-centered education. We are exploring this team to make a case, to make a, to, to make a point, to try to encourage African governments that it's high time we look at a type of curriculum, we look at a type of teaching and learning experience that centers the African, that centers the African value system, that centers our way of doing things. It's interesting to know that we have been reduced to thinking that when we talk of African culture, we think it's just drumming and dancing. Culture is people's way of life. Our governance system, the way we do business, the way we conduct ourselves, everything about us makes what we call culture. We have to reprogram ourselves. This group of eminent people, eminent men, uh, not forgetting the, the very powerful chiefs who are coming together, His Majesty Dasebe Kwebu Osi, the immediate vice president of the National House of Chiefs Ghana, Osabama Kwesiatra II, Paramount Chief of Cape Coast, and a host of wonderful people, they all come together to make this case that it's high time government considers an alternative in this education system that we have inherited from colonialism. We want the type of curriculum that makes our culture and our value system prominent in whatever is taught and whatever is learned. Two things we have to note. What was the agenda of the colonizer? Number one was for them to occupy our land. Number two was for them to build institutions that benefited the occupation. Number three was for them to perpetually benefit from the first two arrangements. Now, since March 1957, what happened? Osage Fidel the greatest African for the past century, was able to lead us to get our independence. That was just political independence. That means that we were able to get rid of the occupation. Now, the two things are still here with us. The institutions they built are still here. We are living with it. The benefit of our minerals, of our natural resources, is still here. Our systems are very much European. So our personalities, our, our very self, our souls, is not in consonance with the system that we have today. And these Europeans are benefiting from us. Go to the DR Congo, to Nigeria, to Ghana, South Africa, everywhere, everywhere in Africa. They are constantly benefiting from us. How can we truly claim that we are independent? This makes a case for the type of education that will peg our minds, that will peg our spirits, that will bring us to ourselves, that will re-Africanize us, that will make us the royals, that will make us the queens and kings that we are. This is what this summit is all about. To reposition us, to make us feel that we are royals, to make us feel that we have been taken advantage of, to make us feel that we need right now, right at this moment, an apology. We need right at this moment reparations for what has happened over the years. It's not a good thing that after all these years, we will still be sitting here and talking about how we've been taken advantage of. But we need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. We need to encourage our people. Those who don't know, we need to tell them to know. We need to come together. I wish I'm not talking about this. I wish everything is fine, but it's not like that. What it is is that, as a people, we've been taken advantage of. We've suffered from colonialism. We are suffering from imperialism. We are not ourselves. We need this platform to come together to examine our minds, to examine what can truly help us. And until we do this thing, until we come together, until we come together, until we realize that we are all one people, we are all Africans, that for whatever happened, 
Our people are scattered all over the world. Once we are able to come together, we will see the advantage of that. We will see how that can be beneficial to us because we have learned their ways. We have learned how they operate. We have learned how we can come together to solve our own problems. When you come to Ghana, the Chinese are here, the Europeans are here. Where are our people? We can just keep on sitting on the fences and keep on complaining that the Chinese are in Africa. We need to stop complaining, we need to come together. We need to come together to solve our own problems. The All African Diaspora Education Summit 2022 seeks to manifest that, seeks to bring that to light. So if you are listening to me, wherever you are, just log on the website, thesummit.info, T-H-E-S-U-M-M-I-T dot I-N-F-O. Learn about what this eminent scholars are looking to do. We are bringing together 30 universities, community colleges, HBCUs in America. We are bringing them together. We are all gathering at the Cape Coast University, University of Cape Coast, the number one university in West Africa, number four in Africa, number one in research in the whole world. We are bringing them together. Professor Buampo, the Vice Chancellor of University of Cape Coast, is, all, is welcoming all of them. This is a serious business. We want to come together to see how, as a people, we can solve our own problems. And we are aware, we are aware our eyes are open, our minds, eyes are open to the fact that the only tool available to us is the right education. What is the right education for the African? The right education for the African is African-centered education. This is what we seek to do. This is all about this conference. So if you hear about this summit, look at how you can participate. On the 19th of September, 10 a.m., we are officially opening up this summit at the University of Cape Coast. We have the Mayor of Cape Coast, the Central Regional Minister, the Minister of Education, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, and my good self, uh, our committee chairman, Dr. David Bush, all of these wonderful scholars, wonderful human, human beings, beautiful people coming together to officially open this summit at the University of Cape Coast. That's 19th of September at 10 a.m. 23rd of September, Friday, at the Neck Hall, University of Cape Coast. We have the closing dinner, the Shambhuna dinner, the Ghana Chieftaincy Awards, where our brothers and sisters will dine and wine with royalty. Because they are royals, they are kings and queens. We are bringing together very prominent chiefs from across the country, chiefs and queens. And they're gonna share with us their experiences. It's gonna be a family get together from 19th of September to 24th of September. Africa means royalty. Africa means power. Africa means we control everything. We own everything. We have everything. If you believe in this, join us.